I just want to do a quick video here showing the unit other than just the photos there's the manual this version does have um, the GPS inside so it does pick up uh, its location look at the manual here real quick it goes through specific uh, a few uh, simulations It's been a while since I've run it. Uh, I completed it about two years ago. And it's been basically just sitting. Uh, just changed the batteries on it. It takes six double A's. Um, on this, when you flip it over, there's the correct markings and everything that you'd find on the real disky. What you do is just remove these screws on this level and the whole bottom comes off and you'll see where the six screws are. Um, on the real one, this was a patch cord that went to the actual computer and I wanted to hide the switch completely so this is just held on by magnets. You take that off, there's your on off switch. I've got this where you, yeah, it just snaps right on. Okay. So if it were to be stored for a long time or, the, or it starts acting funny, um, when you go to start it up, it's because it needs new batteries. Um, the buttons, you can see, they're all flush. They have, uh, they are lighted, but it's got to be pretty much a dark room to be able to see it. Um, I bought the kit and all the digits, the number of digits that you'll see in the lights and everything. I put on a different um, layer. Same with the buttons. So, what that means is they're not soldered directly to the board um, you might be able to see up in the side yeah you can see that just a little bit here all the digits are wired independently and then the board is down in this area um, Now I did that because uh, where I wanted, where the board was going to end up would not allow me to put the buttons the way I wanted them, like on the real one where they're flush all the way across. And the other thing I did to make sure that they were flush um, is there's a small spring under each one of these. Each one of these is about an inch deep, um, very similar to the real one. You can see how you've got a little bit of throw. And then, like I said, the spring in it on, on the bottom of the buttons just to make sure that they go back where they should. All the openings and all these details for mounting and everything are just like the actual disky. This should have no problem interfacing with the actual uh, control panel on the um, command module or the lunar lander. So they have short clips here. You, you can play back just by typing in a uh, program number. You can display the time, display the date. Um, it has countdown timers built in. Um, it has a clock built into it. It'll monitor the date. Um, like I said, it's got the GPS. Oh, what else? 
shows the GPS in the coordinates, latitude, longitude. If you move it side to side, up and down, so X, Y, Z translations, uh, it picks that up because it has a um, digital gyro as well inside. If it is, if it is rolled on the axis X, Y, Z, um, other known as pitch, yaw, roll, it will show those numbers. Um, Here's where you would go in to play the the short clips. Um, they start at three and go all the way up to seven. And this is the so yeah the first two are not selectable on this. All these um, they're just little clips from the different actual landings. Um, JFK Genesis clip from Apollo eight. Eagle has landed, short version of Apollo 13 problem. Go for landing, launch to orbit clip, uh, Conrad, Bugs Bunny clipped, one small step, strolling on the moon, long version of, I believe, JFK, and long version, we choose uh, JFK, long version of Apollo 8 Genesis clip, Orange soil, long version of A13 problem clip. Um, there is a, it's just over a one inch speaker, and it's mounted up in here. You won't be able to, I don't think you can see it. I mean, everything on this was designed from the ground up, uh, other than the board. The board is the ST. Um, Oh, what's it say on here? Acknowledgements eight. I worked closely with the man that helped design and program S and T Geotronics. Sorry about that. So James and Mark. Um, they have versions of this, but it just it didn't have the the detail I was looking for. And I was gonna do one of the static cardboard type, and then I got to thinking, no, nah, I think I'm gonna take it a little further. So I found the drawings, drew everything up in 3D. Uh, I used a professional software called SolidWorks to model up everything on here. And uh, I can even pull that up. I'll probably show a short clip of that. Um, and then everything on here I had, had to have uh, 3D printed and just sanded it all out as smooth as I could get it. Um, and then these are basically just papers. Now this one is actually a sticker. It does have an acrylic coating over it. Uh, I tried glass. I was not, I didn't have a whole lot of luck with the glass. So I did end up just going with an acrylic uh, uh, cover on both these. And this side, I believe that's just a printed paper that's in there. Okay, let's see where I left off. Um, verb 35 is a la uh, lamp test. If you want to reset, do a fresh start. Um, let's see, does that reset? Does not. Okay, so it's like a soft reset, verb 36. And then if you go a verb 69 is basically a total reset. So you'd lose your time, dates, and uh, anything else programmed in there like that. So here are the simulations. This is getting toward the end. I'll just go ahead and let this play uh, for the uh, Apollo 11 lunar landing. Uh, it's a countdown from 3,500 uh, feet 
all the way to touchdown. So we'll go ahead and do that, and I'll show you how. Of course, first you got to take the little piece off the bottom. And go ahead and fire this up. Now what I'd like to do is, let's see, if I can dim this down some. Yeah, I want to dim it down some because the way it looks on full brightness uh, makes the makes the lights look way too bright, and they're not that bright. They're more like this. This is a much better representation of what it looks like. So yeah, all you have to do is it says V sixteen. So you press. The verb and that starts flashing your, your your key 16 enter and noun 68 enter this is your altitude At this point, their radar had a malfunction and reset the computer and gave a code uh, 1201. So the 1201 and 1202 are similar um, alarms. And basically the radar that was picking up the um, surface of the moon overloaded the system. And it was designed in a way that the disky prioritized uh, what was the most important. So go ahead and restart and drop those codes. So what's really cool about this is you're seeing history replay itself in real time.
So there you go. That's the um, simulation of the landing from um, 3,500 feet up. So I said, there's a. Uh, the speaker's right up underneath, kind of to over toward the middle a bit. But like I said, I took great. Uh, strides to make sure this thing was as accurate as I could possibly get it. So, I wouldn't be selling it, but um, I did uh, I just need the money. Uh, it's not an absolute if it gets to the point uh, where I can hold on to it, I will because I'm very much into the, um, what was going on in the space program in the 60s, and this is definitely a serious collector-type piece. And uh, it was, uh, the project took a lot longer than I originally planned, but in the end, it was worth it. Um, I did make a mistake when I was wiring up the uh, lights that are up here um, so on my original video the program was flashing instead of the computer activity and I have just finished um, fixing that and I'll see if I can't put a picture or two on there so you can see just how many wires run back and forth between there it's well over 700 plus uh, solder points um, lots and lots of work went into this thing uh, and it wasn't so much a trial and error that took the time it just took a lot of time it was uh, I kind of underestimated how long it would take to get this thing um, to be this accurate and to like I said, lift all these these digits up off the actual board. Uh, if you buy the kit, you put the the digits right in the board and solder them, and it would have uh, would have had everything soldered in a couple hours. Um, but I had to build my own board up above and then wire everything down to the board. Uh, all the buttons also are on a different level and they don't line up with the board so um, I built my own board on there uh, installed the switches and ran from there down to the board which there should be a picture on eBay as well showing that so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy bidding because it is a one-of-a-kind for sure.